Hello everyone and welcome back to another Battlefield 3 video commentary by RTXD. So, this has been quite a while since I actually posted a last video, but I'm back. Exams are over, Trigger J is back as well, so please, please do check out our, our other videos. We are looking forward to your feedback, to your likes, subscriptions, whatever you want to do to help us get better at what we do. So anyway, yeah, this is my fourth commentary. And this is, I've been, I've been had this gameplay for quite a while in my library, and I've decided to do a commentary of it now, since I had to get it, you know, done, done and over with at some point. Now I've noticed on this video, there's some sort of delay on the sound, I don't know why, I don't know if there's any way I can fix this, it's just when I, well, I think it's just a computer problem, almost like lag when I record, but, um, yeah, I hope I get this fixed sooner or later. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I know a lot of other YouTube commentators have actually already done this. Like, it's basically a done and dusted matter, but I want to express my opinion about this whole premium Battlefield thing that everyone's, well, not everyone, a few people are complaining about. Um, honestly, I don't really see the problem here. I mean,. DICE have given us $75 worth of content and I'm putting it in terms of dollars because that's what I read up on and they're selling it to us at $50 which I think is uh, it's pretty cool, I don't, I don't really see a problem there I mean, you know, if you're a Battlefield 3 player, a fan as it were and you want to get all the, all the uh, DLCs then why not, that's cool just get the premium because it comes out cheaper overall and you get a lot more content, such as, uh, well, you get an extra DLC, I, I think. Um, some extra assignments, all that kind of stuff. You get extra stuff, and it all comes out cheaper, which is pretty cool. I'm I'm quite happy with that. I don't know why other people are quite angry about this whole premium thing. They say that it's an, a very COD-like thing to do, because Call of Duty had this kind of elite thing. I don't know if this is the same thing with Call of Duty, where if you get this elite thing, it comes out cheaper. I, I don't know, I don't really play Call of Duty. Um, if anyone knows any information about this, please let me know. Just put it in the comments. We, we, we would really appreciate it. I just, I just want to know for my own kind of sake. Now, back on topic, the premium. Um, I don't, like, a friend of mine told me that when people get killed by premium players, it's um, it feels like you know they're being killed by people who are like oh yes they're pro but I don't really think this is the case. I mean premium uh, premium players are probably people who are Battlefield 3 fans who think who think it's a real really good game and they want to get more content. And I mean I know when you get killed by a premium player it says premium oh you know I can see why it, what people would think oh yes that guy must be a pro because he has premium but. It's not like that at all, not in my opinion anyway, and not in my case. If I kill someone and he's not premium and I am, doesn't mean I'm any more pro than they are. And, they are. and uh, yeah, that's that's generally my opinion. By the way, a bit more about this game which I'm, I've got going on here. This is Battle Battlefield 3, of course it is. This is uh, Operation, not Operation, this is Grand Bazaar on Rush. I'm playing Rush. We have to set the objectives on the attacking side as you can see the objectives are red which means I have to take out the objectives but anyway uh, yeah this is pre pre premium gameplay as it were mostly because uh, yeah as I said before this this has been lying in my library for quite some time and I'm just getting over over and done with done and dusted as it were and um, yeah as actually right now the DLC also, the Close Quarters DLC, has already come out for premium players. And since I have that, I actually would be doing some recording of that, some gameplay of that. But, uh, well, there's been a, there's been a, bit, a few problems, which I will I'll talk to you about in the next video. And by the way, this gameplay, this video here, this is one of two parts. So do make sure you check out the other video, which should be coming out very soon because uh, I think this was a pretty good match and I was quite happy with it. There was some, there was some uh, really good team play, squad play. It was just generally a good game. Uh, 
I don't really remember much about it because I haven't actually seen it for quite some time since, well, exams, you know, all that, but they're over and done with. They're done. I'm quite happy with that. I dread results day, but until then, more videos for you. So, it's a good thing too. And, uh, well, I've, uh, I've kind of given my thoughts on premium and DLC. Oh, no, I haven't given my stuff on DLC. Okay, right. Well, the DLC, close quarters, everyone says it's, uh, it's kind of like a COD, like a Call of Duty thing. Again, like premium. I don't really... I kind of agree in, to some extent. I, I mean, I've played Call of Duty a bit, and I don't really see how it, how it is any, anything close to Modern Warfare 3 or whatever other game Call of Duty has. To be honest, they all look the same to me. No offense, Call of Duty fans, but that's what they do. The same thing over and over again. But anyway, uh, I, I, I don't really understand how this works because I can see the Call of Call of Duty reference here, but it just doesn't feel like Call of Duty. You know, it's it's got its own kind of own kind of looks. Maybe it's the it's the kind of aesthetics of this game that make it look different to Call of Duty, and therefore I'm thinking, oh, the gameplay is different too, but. Well, maybe it's just that I haven't played enough Call of Duty. I've only played it a bit, I'll admit, but uh, I just don't, I just don't think it's very similar. At least it didn't feel very similar to me, anyway. So, um, yeah, I, I would agree and disagree to some extent. It's quite hard to explain my opinion on the whole matter, but it, it was pretty fun. I'm pl I was playing it a few days ago, Call of Close Quarters, just to check it out when it first came out, and it was pretty cool. I liked it. It was, it was enjoyable. If you want to play some infantry on infantry battles and uh, no vehicles involved, that is what you want to do. Okay, I just did something really stupid there. I, I just why did I not see them? Um, so yeah, I mean that was I, I like the DLC. It's it's pretty fun, and I'm actually looking forward to some of the other DLCs. As actually each DLC seems to be give out giving out a different kind of experience, and I like that. It's giving it's Call of Duty. This is not Call of Duty. This is Battlefield. Uh, it's giving Battlefield all these kind of different gameplays, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm 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 looking forward to all the DLC. To be honest, I want to see all these different kind of gameplays, all these different kind of modes, which I'm going to be able to play. It's going to be pretty fun. In my opinion. So, but uh, as of, as I said before, I have given my opinion on premium on the DLC close quarters. That was a big explosion right there. Whoa felt big anyway but um, yeah please give us your comments I want to know what your opinion is on the whole matter I want to know what you think but anyway this video is coming to an end uh, I hope you like please do press the like button if you did uh, subscribe give us your feedback and like I said comment we want your feedback anyway I hope you see the next video coming up soon see you later